Okay, Abiox. Abio, Abio case. 1886, good player. Queen's Gambit, I'll play. Queen's Gambit declined. Well, let's see if he goes for the semi-slav. No, he develops the bishop. Okay, I'll, I'll just uh, play a quiet line then. Yeah, he did go for the semi-slav, but he put this bishop here first, so it's not a uh, not a botvinic system. Now, I often want to defend this pawn so I can take back with a pawn. But let's um, defend the knight first, <clears throat> because when you push this pawn, it becomes undefended. He can bring the bishop out with a tempo. I've had trouble with that before. Maybe I could have waited for that. Okay, now I'll defend. I mean, now I'll push the pawn and yeah, defend defend the c-pawn with the pawn. Okay, I push here, he takes, I take. He takes, I take, he brings the knight out, I drop back. I often do that. Um, not entirely sure if it's good for me because he does get to push my bishop around. But, um, oh, he plays that. That is not the move that I usually see there. But um, I, I was thinking one advantage of this is, you know, he brings this knight here, then I can put my knight there. That's what I see. But instead he pushed the pawn. So he's looking to push the... Uh, G pawn as well, or just getting off a good diagonal. Let's um, let's attack the D pawn. Let's keep attacking it. Okay, he is threatening. He is threatening to play here with the mate threat. I can push this pawn here. Yeah, I think that's not a problem just yet. Ah, no, it's a problem. No, no, because my, my knight is defended. So this will unleash an attack on my knight, but it will also, um, it's, it will, it will, a knight here will be like a double threat because it will launch a discovered attack there. Ah, so he decides it's better to give that up. I'll, I'll take this pawn. He can have my edge pawn. take my bishop. My bishop is, uh, my light squared bishop is controlling this square. That's uh, irrelevant because it means uh, he can't easily. Okay, let's uh, exchange here and bring the rook. So if the knight hops in to try and create a mate threat, I am just going to take it. My bishop is defended by the queen. And I am maybe threatening to exchange. He decides to exchange first. Okay. Maybe he can win a pawn here. Yeah. Well, maybe not. He's hitting my rook. I'm hitting this pawn. 
threatening to come here. Swing the rook over. Hmm, actually I had an extra pawn. He decided <laughs> and, and he could have taken this pawn and this threat. He could push that pawn after I play the move, I guess. Okay, we'll defend that pawn then. Oh, <laughs> that leaves this pawn undefended. <laughs> Oh my, my, my. I didn't want to put my queen here because of the pin on this square. There was a bishop or a knight there and a queen there was a been a possible pin. So I put my queen over there, but that left this pawn undefended. Bad, bad, bad. Okay. So I put my rook here and just uh it doesn't really dissolve everything because, um, well, if he starts checking, I guess that's a perpetual. If I put my rook here, he takes, I take. Oh yeah, I go for a check. If he grabs a pawn over here, for example, or he could start with the perpetual checks here. But it's a kind of fork, right? His rook is undefended. If he moves the queen, I'll take the rook. If he defends the rook, I'll take the queen. So I don't see any solution. Well, he can move the queen with check and then move his rook. But does he want to do that? The only queen move with check is here or here. Two, mo two moves with check, yeah. I didn't see that leading anywhere. Yeah, he can grab a pawn and I'll just start checking his king. Yeah, well, he played a good game and I, I made some mistakes. So if I can get out of this with a draw, that's that's doing OK. So he goes for the end game. That is an interesting choice. OK, let's get my king up there. He's got an outside passed pawn, so maybe he's justified. Okay, I push this pawn with check, he can take it. If I push this pawn forward, if I wait till the king is out of the picture, then I can push this pawn forward, he takes. Okay, so maybe this is some kind of Zugzwang. I'm gonna eventually get into a position where I can't keep this square defended. He can start pushing this pawn. Let's see, so I, I'll just play a small move. Yeah, I think I, I run out of pawn moves and I don't really want to move my king away from this square but uh, I have nowhere to go to. These two pawns control my forward progress. So I have to go back to one of those squares, probably here, but then his king can come forward. That's pretty good for him. 
Okay, let's lock it up. Hmm. I thought he could have just pushed and made it my turn. Now it's his turn. He can go here, though. He can wait while still threatening to come to this square. So black has the advantage here. Oh, but if he goes there, I can get a passed pawn. But it's in the center. And my king is maybe still that breaking through. Yeah, still not. It is still not. Yeah, that's, that's what he does. And I can't really do much about it. So I push. He takes. I push. Then uh, he steps back with the king. The king were here, and I did that push, take, push. This king could still go here, I go here. Yeah, the king still gets inside the square of the pawn. That's why outside pawns are more valuable. I'm going to try and hold the line here. And then, now I can do this. Oh, uh, yeah, so he got a passed pawn, <clears throat> and I can't stop it. No tricks. So, well, good end game. That's, that shows some nice end game technique there. Let's see if we can get a uh, rapid game. Black. Kristonov plays in English. Going to do my usual usual system against the English with the early d5. Like to just create a half open position uh, rather than a completely closed position. <laughs> he goes for a completely open position. Um, sure. Does he want to give me an isolated pawn here? I think the pawn will be stronger with the queen on the board. And it looks like, yeah, he's going to do this typical play against the isolated queen's pawn. And I need to develop my pieces quickly. Or so I think. Maybe knight here, rook here, and push the pawn. That could be something. And he's going to get castled. So now, if I push the pawn, he can push this pawn, attacking my knight. I move, and then he can take with um, all that force behind it. Yeah, I think I can't. 
push that pawn just yet. So we will hold it here with the queen. I'm going to bring the rook over. Um, yeah, I'll trade off that knight. It's uh, an annoying piece. And then uh, defend here. Defensor the pawn. That's a point of lifting the queen up, so I could easily bring another defender in here. And I want to put the uh, I want to put the knight over here. Hits his bishop, and it's out of the way of. Um, Yep, so he steps back. So now can I push this pawn? I've got three pieces on that square and he only has two. So pawn takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, queen takes, queen takes, rook takes. And uh, and my rook, my knight is defended. Yeah, so I think dissolving the weakness is the thing to do. So he attacks a rook. Let's see. Can I take here? He takes my rook. I take his queen. No, I can't do that. Let's just go here. Want to keep my knight defended? Because now, uh, after the exchange, this will be under attack. I can take this pawn if he doesn't take himself or push forward. <clears throat> there is a back rank weakness here I should be aware of. And uh, white has the bishop pair, so white has uh, some pull even after the exchange. And he's finally started to use some time. <laughs> it was a rapid game. We both played a little too fast, I think. Oh, he kicks the knight. Okay, that's one way to stop me from taking the pawn. And maybe exploit my back rank weakness, huh? But the knight was not essential to defense of this uh, pawn here. And if he... Uh, takes here I can throw in this check first now I can take whichever pawn I choose knight takes here queen takes here or bishop takes here Yeah, it looks like he was trying to exploit that weakness, but uh, he didn't find a way to do it. How about I take this pawn and uh, keep the other one under fire? Does that work? Seems it does. So he pauses to defend. So I can threaten mate here <laughs> and uh, and the bishop, but he can get back and defend. Is there a better way to do it? I could threaten mate here. And if he simply defends, I can take this one with check.
what does he do after queen here? He defends this pawn, I take here. So king could step up and I take there. Queen comes out, I take the queen. I think this is good. But it does leave this hanging, so if he's got some clever move. I still have the check here. He can't play queen f2. Knight h3 check would be pretty a pretty serious answer. Can't defend this pawn with the bishop. If he moves the king, I can take on um, g2. Anyway, yeah, queen here fork was a pretty pretty uh, interesting idea. Had me. It's uh, easy to go for that in a blitz game, but uh, when you've got time to think about it, you realize he can retreat the bishop and defend at the same time. Kristinov's now, now he's really thinking. See if he could just, <laughs> if he just could get two, two pieces lined up here, he would have a mate. But he needs two pieces and it takes two moves to do that. I don't know, maybe he could start lining up, but um, well, there's not too many squares the queen can go to, are there? Okay, so he defended there with the rook. I'm just going to take here. Okay, well, let's think about this. I take here with check. The king will move, uh, but he has the threat of bringing his rook over here. But I can just put the knight back on this square. Putting the knight on this square would be interesting, but not not working, huh? Knight here, rook there, knight pawn forward would be a little embarrassing. So just put the knight here, and then maybe push this pawn. <laughs> Give myself a little a little um, room here. A little breathing room on the back rank. Ah, he took the bishop off of that square. looking at this square. So the queen could come in. But my rook is defended at the moment. Okay, he was saving the, uh, the bishop from the check. So I do have this check here or here. Check here. Hmm, where do I go if I check there? Let's just make room, see what he does. What's the plan here? Knight back to here, threatening to take the pawn results in. Um, him pushing this pawn, I guess. Oh, but the pawn is pinned now. He put the queen there very conveniently. So, right here. So he unpinned. But now I can take, right? Knight takes. If he puts the queen here, I'll take his queen. I mean, puts the bishop here, I'll take his queen. So knight takes, bishop takes, bishop takes. Then he puts the bishop here. I'll just move my queen over here. Uh, 
Oh, he just wanted to grab a pawn. <laughs> okay, let's see. Is there some clever check now? He is coordinating in this square, so I have to be aware of that. Okay, I can move the knight with check, which would uh, unleash something against his rook, which is undefended. So knight here, check. Pawn takes. Rook takes rook. Then he's got queen check on the back rank. And um, bishop to here. Knight check here. Oh, it's a double check when I move the knight because of the bishop. So knight check here or here. He has to move his, uh, he has to move his king. Only one square to move the king to. And I can take the rook with check and take the bishop. I think it all falls apart here. Yep. <laughs> okay, he, he could calculate that too and he didn't uh, play it out. Let's play it out. That's uh, just too good to pass up. Okay, it's a double check. So the king has to move. And uh, these squares are guarded, and these squ this square is guarded by the bishop. So the only move, the only move is king here, after which I can take the rook with check. And now these squares are guarded. This is guarded. He actually has to come here. I even wonder if there's a mate, but. Um, but I think it's good enough just to um, actually there is a mate, right? King can't move. Oh no, the, the, the knight's not defended. That's not a mate. So just take the bishop. And then he's no longer threatening here, right? He was coordinating with the bishop and queen there. Even though it was defended, now it's he just has the queen queen and bishop, and I have an extra rook and a knight. So a uh, nice game there. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.